Let's look at a company example of this. Um, I think that, uh, you know, this, this kind of innovation storytelling, when it comes to making sure that it's aligned, it can start as early as the culture that you set in your organization, even at the point of recruitment. So if you go to the Nike jobs page for innovation, this is the video that you'll see. Make no mistake. We hate sustainability. We hate that people don't even want to hear the word anymore. We hate that it has become a management decision that gets passed down like secondhand shoes. We're over it. We're here to unveil a new age of design. One that is about making better things and making things better. One that is built upon an insatiable curiosity and an inexhaustible work ethic. One that gives the power back to the makers of things instead of makers of decisions. This is about better choices for better tomorrows. It's about opportunities, not obstacles. Options, not mandates. We're talking about transparency, not confusion. This is about potential, to do things you never thought you could with things that you've always had. It's about time the do-gooders took heed from the good doers. So consider this your rallying cry. Reclaim your rightful positions as catalysts of progress. Rise up against the pencil pushers with unworked hands and uncurious minds. Go to your drawing boards and draft tables and workstations. Prepare to design things that matter. Prepare to change the way the world makes things. Prepare to redesign the making of making. Makers of the world unite. Um, I love that example. I think it's interesting that they share it on their recruitment page. So from the minute that you consider going after a job at Nike among their innovation teams, you know the culture, you know what the al alignment needs to be.